Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having an amazing day today guys and that you're all well. Today I'm very very excited and I hope that you've noticed the reason why uh, I had the job. <laughs> this is completely different for me. I've never ever had my hair looking like this and I'm very excited about it. But before we go into this, uh, today we have a mini primal call along with a little bit of an update like a life catch up hair update. So if you're here for this then without further ado let's get to the video. I'm going to try and keep this video short and sweet. I don't want to tell you guys because I do have other things that I need to be doing today. I want to film one more video hopefully today and time is a little bit pushing. But the quick life update that I wanted to give you is basically that today is Monday the 26th I believe of October and no it's the 28th it's the 28th of october today and on friday we're going to be getting the 20 week scan i am going to turn 20 weeks on thursday and then on friday morning we have our scan to find out if it's a boy or if it's a girl and to be fair i know there's a lot of people here that I have been trying to guess and there's a lot of bets going on everyone has been saying that this time i'm going to be having a boy and to be fair I do not know this pregnancy is similar to the previous one but quite different in a way uh, mainly with the way that my body has reacted to it but it is also very normal because I didn't have enough time to actually bring my body back to its previous state before I went into a new pregnancy so it is expected for my body to slightly react to that anyway everyone's pretty much saying that there is going to be a boy and to be fair if it's a boy it's a boy if it's a girl it's a girl all I care for is for a healthy child and that's because uh, the 20 week scan is always a very very important one it's the anomaly scan where you get to see if everything's been uh, growing perfectly fine and if everything's if everything's okay really with a baby and if there's something that is not this is the scan that we're going to find out um, about hopefully everything's going to be fine like it was with Andromeda but I always have it in the back of my head because we had spina bifida in my family my younger sister who was born she was born with spina bifida and she died four and a half months later and because it's been in the family it's something that I've always had in the back of my mind I had it with Andromeda and I still have it with this baby so you know Yes, fair enough, we're going to find the gender and I'm going to let you all know if it's going to be a boy or if it's going to be a girl on the next video that, well, hopefully it's going to be the next one from this one that is coming up. But I think the most important is that we find out that the baby's healthy and everything's fine. Second part of the life update is literally the new hair. I hope you like it. I absolutely love it. I was quite fortunate in a way because I had found... A picture of the hair that I wanted exactly what I wanted and I went with that picture to the hairdressers and last time I've done that I've ended up with something completely different and I was very very disappointed so I went to the hairdresser that I usually go and the lady that I'm seeing wasn't there they did try to get me to have my hair done with someone else which I had it done before actually and I really hated the end result so I didn't want to take that lady and I just left and walking in the city while I was doing other chores I noticed that one of the hair salons in the city centre that is called Rush Hair and Beauty was having an offer of 50% off anything you choose to do with them if you're a first time customer if it's your first treatment or anything basically at your first visit to their salon and I thought that was a really good idea to take advantage of that because I wanted a haircut for quite some time now I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see what I was looking for what I wanted there's a couple of pictures that I'm going to try and insert uh, so you can see what exactly I had in mind and I'm going to put my Pinterest handle down here for you to find because I have that picture along with some other ones that I had taken inspiration from when it comes to what I wanted to do with my hair in there and there's a lot of other boards that you can take a look at but I'm digressing besides that I wanted to have to have my hair done like that picture so I went with that picture in mind I showed it to the lovely 
person that actually saw me, George, I have to name him because he was absolutely amazing, not just by chit chatting. They do say that you, when you go to hair salon, it's like you're going to your psychologist. It's not just that you're having your hair done, you're having like a mini session. And he was absolutely lovely. We had a lovely chat and he, he was just amazing to talk to. And he did exactly what I've asked him to. He told me exactly what he's gonna do to my hair, how he's gonna do it, what he's thinking will make my face I frame better with this kind of hair and he did his best and I do believe it because this is way more than what I expected I am so so happy let me know if you like it as well let me know in the comments below uh, if you like the new haircut or if you prefer it the very long and very very straight I am not wearing my glasses today as well so the, I know if that's too different hopefully you're going to see like the home version of me soon where the hair is not going to be curled up there's going to be no makeup there's going to be my glasses on and i'm literally going to be carrying a baby on an arm but let me know if you like this haircut and if you think that it actually suits me as much as i feel that it does so i had my hair done and i kind of felt that this was like a mini pamper if you want to call it that a mini pump session uh, before I give birth I know that I'm not going to get many more chances to actually do something about like me having some time with me before I give birth to this little one and like I may have a session with having my nails done or something like that but it, I, I don't think that I'm going to have something as drastic as this that would make me feel as well as it did. Hence why I felt like I needed to upgrade my wardrobe a little bit. And that's when I went to Primark. Plus, I had an hour from the booking of my appointment with the hair specialist to the time that I had to be there that I had to waste. And Primark was not that far away. So I just popped in. And that's where we're going to go into the mini primer haul because I have four items. It's not too many. It's just four items. But I absolutely fell in love with each and every one of them. And I wanted to share them with you guys. Now, most of them I bought in mind of the fact that they've been saying that we're going to have a very, very cold winter this year. And I'm going to be pregnant through it. But I wanted to be able to wear the clothes after I give birth as well. So I bought clothes that are nice and thick but they're all knitted which means that they have a lot of give for me to wear now even as I get bigger but also when I give birth they're going to just be very loose fitted clothes on me which also I love it as an idea hence why I bought what I bought and the first item I want to show you is this one here just plain old sweater just in this beige kind of wet sand color uh if you like it is with a high neck it's a raised neck but it's not exactly what you would expect it's not similar to what i'm wearing which like you have to fold and fold to make it drop it's not one of those necks it's literally just a high neck it is a very 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 soft i loved the fact that it was as soft as it is it does say that Primark oh I didn't know that actually Primark is celebrating 50 years so it says shaking it up for 50 years 69 1969 to 2019 well done Primark this one was £13 it's the large size and it was £13 to get I love the way that it looked on me I am going to try and insert pictures of how I look while wearing the clothes but guys, I'm going to try. I can't. <laughs> I can't promise you. I will try though. So this one is the first item with the knitted top. It is quite wide as well. If you can see before I put it down, it is quite wide. So I do think that it's going to be absolutely fine. It has a lot of give now and I will be wearing it as a loose top later on after I give birth. So that's the first item. Second item, which caught my eye as I literally walked in the store because it was not exactly on one of the entering rails but it was on the very first area that they keep all of their clothes and as I passed by it just oh can you see how beautiful this is so this is another knitted jumper this is a 
a lot thicker knit from the previous one this is one of those droopy long necks that you literally have to it is a proper high neck so you have to fold it and then do something about it when you wear it uh, it has the most beautiful pattern in the front i know it's not something particularly i don't know special maybe but i fell in love with it i really like this pattern battery died mid-sentence let's go again so <laughs> this was the second item that I had to pick it is a shorter knit so it's not all the way long as the previous one the previous one is a little bit longer this one is a shorter knit and the other reason why I wanted to pick something like this up is because fair enough this year I won't be able to wear something like it in the combination that I wanted but I've always had in mind a chunky nice thick knit on the top with a lovely long skirt all the way to either the ankle or right above the ankle and I know that because I'm pregnant I won't be able to wear something like this this year uh, because even the long dresses that I have maybe a couple of them would fit that but not all of them would so I'm a little bit restricted but definitely next year I will be buying some long skirts to get along or I could even wear it with my a suede uh, tan skirt that I have or my black leather if I fit in the black leather skirt next year so <laughs> that was one of the main reasons why it was bought and because it was so so lovely this one is an extra large and it was 13 pounds to get and after that one we are going to a dress for well, this one is a special edition in primark because it is the collaboration with stacy solomon for primark so it does to be fair i didn't even know and then i just saw the little tag that says stacy for primark uh this one i'll show you straight away since we're showing the tags this one's a large it was 15 pounds to get it is also a high neck it is one of those like very very loose very very long high necks and it does have a pattern in the front although it's not as distinct as the previous one it's a little bit less but this is because the knit on this one is a lot thinner it's not a thick chunky knit as the previous one it's a lot thinner so even the pattern looks a little bit less obvious as uh, the one in the previous jumbo that i showed you uh, it is quite long it goes all the way down to my knee and the large one is they are oversized i would say that because i usually wear extra large or maybe even sometimes depending on on knits i usually wear large if i am fair it is so lovely and i got it because not only did it fit so nicely on me but also like I said I didn't have anything on that color I wanted to stay warm and because at the same time I have a coat that I showed you on the previous primal call uh, which looked fantastic with this under uh, and I was like yeah definitely that that I just made like an outfit straight away so this is the third item and the absolute last is a pair of shoes that I got. Uh, you're probably going to laugh with the reason why I bought this pair of shoes. But being pregnant means that your feet get very, very swollen. And I mean very swollen. To the point that I wear white, like I have white fit shoes. And I'm not exactly a wide fit. I'm right in between normal and wide when it comes to my the way my shoes fit in my uh, feet but when you get pregnant at least with me my feet ended up gaining an extra size so I went from my my normal size is a seven I went up to an eight I couldn't wear my sevens I tried some uh, pairs of boots that well I had a couple of pairs of boots from the year before and the year before that which I absolutely loved and both of them were wide fit and when my calves are actually swollen the boots won't go all the way up they won't close the the zip just gets stuck in one particular place and i can't zip it all the way up so i was having issues because they've been predicting a very very heavy winter with a lot of snow and i had lost my shoes that had the um the most grip underneath that the sole of the shoe was the perfect one for uh snow and had the most grip and i had to get something for it to replace it so i saw these boots in primark 
and I really really like them because they are literally right above the ankle that means that no matter how big my calves will get when they swell these are still going to be able to fit because I'll go from a 7 to an 8 which these are so it should be absolutely fine so these were kind of like my solution to the days that I know it's going to be cold and I know it's going to be snowy and it's going to be probably icy and I will need to wear a pair of shoes to go out for ABC reasons uh, and I don't want to slip and definitely I don't want to slip being pregnant and while pushing a pram so these have this bottom it has the they have the grip bottom that I wanted that I was looking for and that was the main reason why I got them and also because they are flat they had a lot of black ones but these were the only brown flat boots that I found that they were there on size 8 that I liked as well because I did have other sizes other 8 sizes and other designs that I didn't really fancy much these were 16 pounds to get i hope it's gonna focus there you go you can actually see that it's a size eight and they were 16 pounds to get and these are the last item that i picked up from primark i really really liked what i got i am really happy with the fact that i actually did go and spend a little bit of money because i did feel that today was a very special day having my hair done and it's not exactly changing my style but adapting myself to what I had in mind and being able to find the clothes that also fit and they are pretty much spot on to what I had pictured so I'm very very happy with that I still look at myself in the mirror right now and I can't believe and on the camera right there <laughs> on the viewfinder and I can't believe that this is me and that my hair looks so so amazing in my eyes they look amazing so i'm very very excited with them and i'm very very excited with what i did anyway this is the video i did speak a little bit longer than what i wanted to i'm really sorry about that but i hope you enjoyed it i hope that you got what you wanted i do wish to hear back from you i want to hear what do you think about the new hairdo and everything so leave me a comment down below and if this is your first time being here and this was the first video that you've actually watched in my channel then i would love to have you here as another part of this family that keeps on growing we're above 300 we're over 300 people i can't believe that we're over 300 subscribers it blows my mind and we're still growing i'm so happy and so thankful to all of you guys who have subscribed and who have become part of this family that is still growing and like i said if this is your first time here then do press that subscribe button down there and become part of this family i would love to have you here with us there is also a little bell right next to that you can click and that way you will get notified whenever i upload a new video if that's what you would like and I hopefully the next video will be a gender reveal so you're gonna find out along with me if it's gonna be a boy or if it's gonna be a girl hopefully you enjoyed this video hope you liked it if you did then give it a thumbs up and i will see you again very very soon on the next video toodles